Welcome to Inside Science TV. In May 2010, the city of Nashville was hit by a storm that dumped more than 19 inches of rain in some areas in two days. In April 2011, an outbreak of tornadoes hit Alabama, killing over 300. Now, meteorologists say both events are linked to a rare combination of the two jet streams. These two jet streams, the subtropical jet and the polar jet, are very often separated by thousands of miles in the north-south direction. And what we're finding is that occasionally they can find each other, or sitting right on top of one another, and that leads to some weather that can be quite extreme. Researchers learned that the two jet streams are being pushed together by tropical thunderstorms 9,000 miles away in the western Pacific. Having their origins somewhere in the tropics in the western Pacific Ocean is not at all uncommon. We just had not really noticed that connection before. Dubbed a super jet, its winds carry almost twice as much energy as a typical jet stream. As the jet streams come together, the winds pick up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, producing colossal rainstorms and high winds that can create deadly tornadoes. When it comes to the weather, understanding the atmosphere better leads directly to improved forecasts, and then you're talking about saving lives and property. Researchers believe the changing position of the subtropical jet stream may result from climate change and could be a factor of more frequent extreme weather. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.